images of Saturn captured with a Canon DSLR in RAW format would be uh, processed using Images Plus. And I'm going to use the image set operations to do this. Now since I'm starting with Canon RAW files, I'm going to start with this RAW file development and conversion command. And uh, I'm going to choose just five images, let's say. Uh, a, a real set would have hundreds and hundreds probably of, of a of a planet, especially from the Canon 40D where it's really nice at taking images of the solar system because of the mirror being always locked up and there's virtually no mirror flap with that camera. So I'm going to start with just five files, raw files, and uh, I'm going to convert them to color. And while this is running, I'll explain some of the other parts of this command. Uh, I can convert Canon RAW files, or actually any RAW files, from a Canon, Nikon, Adobe DNG, Kodak, Olympus, Pentax. There's quite a few different types you can work with here. And you can convert them straight to color, or you can convert the RAW files uh, to their RAW bare format, which is uh, before the, the image is converted into color. And you have two choices there, no white balance or at capture white balance, where the at capture is uh, using the white balance that's set in the camera when the uh, image is captured. And if you have a modified camera and set a custom white balance to automatically correct for the red bias of the modified camera, this option will automatically apply that while converting from the raw format to the, the bare format data. And then you have some output choices here. Generally for the image set operations I use compressed 16-bit fit because it keeps down the, uh, the size of the files. Okay, it looks like this finished, so let's go over to the output. Uh, once one of these image set operations finishes, you've got buttons here on the image set control tab that allows you to pass the image set on to another command. Now they all have, that is all of the image set operations have a file list button that you can use to look at the input files. And these are raw uh, Canon files. And if you click on one of the output files it'll actually show you the converted file. Uh, See so there's a very faint Saturn here. These are fast exposures with a, an 8 inch uh, TMB at f45. Okay, uh, so here's my input RAWs. Here's my five converted output RAWs. They're color. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to crop them because Saturn really only occupies a small part of the image. So I want to get rid of all that area around it and just zero in on the planet itself. And to do that, I press the Crop Files button to send the uh, converted raw files to the Crop Files command. So it looks like this now. All right, well, maybe if it's so dark, maybe you can use like Levels or one of these other commands to brighten the image to help you select the area that you want to crop out. Okay, that seems to work. Uh, got two choices. I could crop about a fixed point or I could uh, crop about uh, the area around the planet and automatically find the planet in the image. So if your tracking isn't very good and Saturn drifts like this across the image, this option will actually find the planet and put it in the center of this rectangle. And to define that rectangle we can do it again here. You just left click and drag a, a rectangle around the, the planet that you want to crop out of each frame. Then you press the crop button. And this will go through each one of those five images, find Saturn, crop them to the same size, and, and save that cropped file. When it finishes, the output options will be enabled here. See, so now we can filter it, resize it. Well, we've already cropped. Probably want to grade. And since I've only got five files, I'm going to just assign uh, letter grades A through F. Uh, if you 
want to see the values, you can look here. A grade A would be above 90%. A grade B would be 80 to 90. And this grading's done on sharpness. So the sharpest image would be grade 100% down to 90% for the A's and so forth. All right, let's grade them. Uh, now I've got my input cropped files. See, it's cropped, center, uh, Saturn's in the center, and I have its corresponding graded file out here. Uh, this one grades at 100%. Uh, so I've graded my files. Next thing I want to do is align them, and I'd use the Align Planet option to send the uh, graded files to the alignment command. Let's do that. Uh, here there's really nothing to do. I mean you can inspect the images if you like, but basically you just align them. They're now aligned and the last thing I want to stack them. So I want to press the combine button. I'm just going to do an average. Okay. So that's how you'd process uh, a set of several hundred raw images. It'd take longer, of course, if you had hundreds and hundreds, but the, the steps would be the same. Uh, let's brighten this up a little bit so we can take a look at it. Now this is a stack of only five. It doesn't look that bad, though, actually. Let's do one more thing and go back and stack like 300 images that I've already cropped so that it won't take a few minutes to process them and only take a few seconds really. So I'm going to back my way out. I'm going to, before I close each one of these, I'm going to press delete to delete the output of each one of the commands. I'll delete the graded files. I'll delete the cropped files. I'll delete the converted files. Now I'm really back to the beginning, but I do have that cropped stacked image that we just went through and created right here. See, so that's a nice way to clean up the hard drive after you're finished. Okay, let's do this one more time with uh, a, a large set of cropped images. So what I've done is I've already run digital development here, uh, file development and conversion on a set of 300 Canon RAW files and I've already cropped the files down so I'm going to start really with the uh, the grade portion. Each one of these image set operations assigns a preset fix and uh, you can look on the image set operation itself to find them or it's in the help file. Convert will add CVT Crop, CR, align would be an AN or a ATSR. Resize would be an RZ. They're fairly obvious. But each time you run an operation on them, they'll put another uh, prefix on it. So here's Saturn that's been cropped before, after it's been resized. I'm sorry, it's Saturn that's been uh, converted, CVT, and then cropped. Okay, let's select these. Uh, 300 or so cropped files of Saturn. And we're going to grade them. And this is a uh, this is an actual run that you would do with like uh, 300 files that have already been converted and cropped. Uh, I'm only going to keep the A and B images. So let's grade them. And it'll go through all 300. Uh, I think we'll probably wind up with about 50 or so A and B images out of the 300. And those we'll then use to align and then stack. And you wind up with a pretty nice image of Saturn. This grade files, we're using automatic grade. You could, if you wanted, with a smaller set, actually step through each one and assign a grade manually. That's what the manual grade tab is for. But I find the auto grade works, well, it works well with the images that I take. And uh, 
I almost always use automatic grade. Okay, so what do we have here? We got 166 out of 300 were graded uh, either A or B. Okay, well, let's align those. So the output of grade files is going to be sent to the align planet command. And then I'll press align to align them all. When that finishes, I'll have a set of 166 that I can uh, stack. And again, when this image set operation finishes, these buttons will be enabled. And they're the next operation that you can send the output to. <clears throat> Here, since we've, we're aligning graded files that have already been cropped, what we're really going to do is just press the combine button and stack them. Okay, uh, combine. I'm going to do an auto graded average, and this is going to do a weighted average based on the grade that was assigned to each file by auto grade. So I'll select that option and uh, just press combine. It'll stack all 166 of those, and we'll have a uh, should be a pretty nice image of Saturn here. Let's brighten it a little. Okay, looks nice and smooth. It's displayed at 100% here. Uh, let's sharpen it a little. Oops. Comes out being a rather nice image, especially for a DSLR, an older one. Now the new Canon 40D is definitely the best DSLR made to date for taking pictures of the planets or solar system because the mirror goes up and stays up and you only get a little bit of uh, movement of the, the shutter and mirror flap is virtually uh, non-existent with that camera. Plus the live focus helps you in focusing the planets a lot better than uh, the take a test image download measurement that you have to do with the DSO stuffs. Okay, so that's processing a set of planetary images.